Hey guys, Chris Grant coming at you again, and today we're going to talk Keepa. Keepa is one of my favorite tools. I know I have, I know I seem to have a lot of those, but uh, Keepa can do a lot of things for you, both their website as well as their Google Chrome extension. And we're going to go over a little bit of both today. So here at Keepa.com, one of the first things that you probably should check every single day is the deals. Uh, now let's just say we want to go in and let's find let's find things that have dropped today so these are items that have dropped today uh, we can see that the average price is 186.96 and maybe you happen to be in the uh, in the market and they're 163.58 but let's go ahead and click through to this and we can see but Amazon's actually been at a lower price in the past, in the past three months. So uh, if you would like, you can click track this product and you want it for 125 or less. Go ahead and hit start tracking. Now this is a new feature. They'll actually give you push notifications right on Google Chrome and Firefox. So that's how you track a product. The other thing you can do, go here, and let's look at uh, oh, let's look at sports and outdoors. Over the past month, we've seen seen a bunch of huge drops. So this item, this item dropped from one hundred and ninety three dollars all the way down to ten. And that could have been a price mistake that they were making, or they're really trying to get this off the shelves. So we'll go look at it on Amazon. It's a little attachment plate. We can see that it's got a fairly, fairly good rank. So it was probably just mismarked. but you can go through all of these some of these might be great for Amazon to Amazon flips you can also look at them and see if there's just anything that you want uh, and this is just, just a great place to start looking for product and then going into the uh, the rabbit trails that you will find off of that so now that we've seen that the other thing you can do <clears throat> from actual Amazon pages. If you have the Keepa uh, extension here, you can scroll down and this this bottom piece doesn't always show, okay? We can show less historical data or more historical data and you will get two boxes. So what this first box does is over the time period that you choose, I happen to be choosing all of them, you will see the sales rank and the price. And what we notice here is that when it was priced high, it looks like somebody created the listing, then it finally sold. Sales rank went back up, sold again. People started finding it. And prices started coming down a little bit. And what you'll notice down here is that these prices started coming down once more sellers got onto the listing and that's what this second box is all about it shows you the new and used offer counts and then you'll notice bam Amazon got in there for nineteen ninety nine the offer count st still keeps going up people getting ready for Q4 but you will see that Amazon's in here and the sales rank is staying very very consistent because the price is consistent uh, and and it's also sold by Amazon so they're they're pushing this now looks like Amazon went out of stock for a little bit and if we look up here yep they are out of stock 28.95 so the reason the price didn't go up a huge amount is because there are so many offers on it there's 36 offers which isn't a ton for toys but uh, but that does tend to keep the price down a touch. So these are all things that you can look at with Keepa. You can actually 
track right from this box. Say we want to track this. I want to let you track up to $21. But let's say, for example, we want to know if it ever gets back down to that $20 mark just to buy this for our own personal collection. You hit start tracking. Now, the other thing you can do is if you look in here, you can see statistics. This says that it drops about 42 times per month. Now, you could say, okay, well, that means 42 sales. Well, that would be true if it were going, if you saw these spikes up here going up and down, up and down, up and down. But you can see over here that it's say, staying at a sales rank of 2, 6, 10, 11. The sales rank is staying consistently under 100, which means that it's selling multiple times a day. So this can give you an indication of how many you're selling, but it's not going to be the most accurate. So you have to make some, some good guesses or use another tool. You also will be able to see the lowest price, the current price, and the average price over the last 90 days, um, which is kind of helpful. So you can see if it's something, if it's something that is stable in price, then you may actually want to uh, hop onto that listing. For example, if I can get a product that's uh, $10 on a consistent basis, but I can see that over the last 90 days it consistently sells for $30, $40, then I know that I'm probably not going to have a whole lot of price erosion uh, unless there's a reason that that product might gain a bunch of new sellers and then the market just tends to the more competition without an increased demand will of course make those prices come down so that's a whole lot of dirty stuff we could talk about some other time but hopefully this will help you a little bit uh, that's not as deep as we could go into Keepa there's all kinds of things you can do with it but really learning how to use these Keepa charts will help you make smart buying decisions uh, you, you hate to buy something where the price erodes really, really quickly, and if you can see that you're getting a ton of new sellers on an item, uh, and that's not stay, staying consistent, like this is a, a newer item, it's only been out for less than 30 days, so people are finding it and shipping it in, and so the price has eroded, uh, you know, or they're getting their wholesale orders finally, and the price is eroding. Uh, but if this is another item that the consistency of the seller stays 10 to 20 you're probably not going to see the price erode as much just because the supply and demand has sort of equalized uh, and that's all things that you can tell by looking at the charts I will make another video that kinda goes really really deep into this uh, but make sure to make sure to really use your keepa graphs when you're making buying decisions because it can really keep you from making a mistake. Well, I hope this helps. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave me a comment. And if you wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.